for soon to be displaced Tyson workers is now on the ground in Perry. The plant is closing at the end of June and that will leave 1200 people looking for new jobs. WHO 13's Roger Riley was in Perry today where Iowa Workforce came to talk to those Tyson employees. Roger. Yeah, Aaron, uh, the announcement came back on March 11th that this plant would be closing. Now, the state agency, Iowa Workforce, came to town today to kind of start an assessment of the situation to help employees who will be looking for work. Now, this IWD mobile unit we saw a couple weeks ago was parked at the plant here today, well out of camera range to give employees a chance to ask questions. Everything, eventually there will be a transition office at the plant to help workers uh, get their questions answered. Now when the plant closes, some may collect unemployment, but that cannot start until they are officially out of a job. For now, Beth Townsend, the Iowa Workforce Director, is optimistic new jobs could be found for the Tyson employees. Our number one focus right now is helping people find that next job. Because mm -hmm. one of the things that, I mean, we have almost 60,000 jobs open in Iowa on Iowa Works uh, as of today. There are uh, over 6,300 manufacturing jobs open in Iowa. 1,700 uh, food production jobs are open around the state. This does present us an opportunity for our local companies in particular uh, to, to, I would to fully staff. Now, the Perry Economic Development Board is involved in working kind of together with the state. Their, their goal is to try to keep as many Perry employees living in this community. And maybe some of the jobs that uh, Beth Townsend cited are within driving distance from Perry. That is their hope. Uh, they will have a, a, a big job fair here uh, at the Hotel Pati on April 3rd. And th there will be more opportunities for employers to interact with the people that work at Tyson's now. But basically, they're uh, basically optimistic that they can uh, try to keep everybody employed until they find a way to reopen this plant. Yeah, that is the hope. Roger Riley reporting live this afternoon. Thank you.